How's it going and welcome to another episode of Factions SMP. Today's episode is about just getting ready or it could be happening this episode. I'm not really too sure because it's all about waiting for Ace mostly and hoping that this plan comes together because it'd be very cool if it does but knowing how things can go things might just change drastically very fast and things go wrong easily as well before i go explain all that let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this episode that would be absolutely amazing thank you guys for all the support in the show if you guys want more of it slap that like button down below let me know and let's get into today's episode so guys now first things first this was all recorded with camera mod so just if you're wondering how i record this this was all recorded with camera mod but anyway guys so this is ace's base with a bird's eye view of the base we plan to attack from the back of his base where his main building seems to be, but it's actually not his main building, I don't think. I don't know. When I was watching him, I didn't notice that it went in there a lot, but maybe it is. So the plan is to attack from the back, get in there as fast as possible, have a few people end the Pearl in, have some people dedicated to smashing up the back wall, and then have a TNT cannon built over at the other side of the wall to smash down the other side, just in case we need to, and also it'll do some damage to the base, because this is all about doing damage to the base. Hopefully, if fingers crossed and everything works out, the plan, the, the whole war plan will be happening at night. That is the plan, but I don't know if it will be. I have a hidden chest made um, there. I put some supplies in it for, for myself, a bit of TNT as well, as kind of like a bit of a backup in case anything is going wrong. And I also have a campsite area made, which is like the perfect distance away from Ace's base and also very, very close. Because the plan is, guys, here's a plan. I plan on rallying up a lot of members under my control. And when I say that, I don't even mean my faction. I mean other factions as well. They're going to be under my command technically. Because the way the rules work um, is that you can recruit people for your war. Like, for example, I can recruit, let's say, uh, Spooks, for example. He's not a proper ally of mine, but I could recruit him to fight in my army, say. So they're under my command. So the rules are, whenever, if we go in and we raid Ace's base, all the stuff that is raided from Ace goes to me, and then I decide how I distribute everything out to the other people who might help fought the war with me. But the good thing about this is that the rules to kind of state, if someone, if someone else is kind of under my control... They don't get involved in the war unless they personally, their faction declares war in it themselves. They're just here helping me out. They have a cause for it. But if they want to get themselves personally involved in the war, then they can um, actually be involved in the war so they can carry out their own attack plans. But obviously they have to go and let the other, like the faction declaring war and know just how I let Ace know. So like, that's how it works. Because obviously Spooks can just go randomly raid Ace now for a war reason because I'm at war with him. So if he's under my command, if I say, okay, we're attacking, we attack. So, I need to make sure I'm ready for that. So, I've got an invisible pot. I've got speed pots. I've also got speed pots in the chest that I left near Ace's base as a backup. i got a few extra gapples as well. But, like, this is all the gapples I have. So, if we lose these, rip me. But, it's fine. We can just grind some more. Right. So, first thing we're going to want is we're going to want some water. That's for sure. Because, obviously, for the TNT cannon. Now, I'm sure someone else is going to bring water and stuff. But, I want to make sure. We're going to need redstone. Perfect. And I have most of our TNT over in that protected, that in that hidden chest. And I think other factions will most likely bring TNT as well. Because Ace has made a lot of enemies, um, for, like Spooks, for example, by raiding them and being mean to them in a sense. And also, not a lot of people are happy about a war going on in the world, if that makes sense. So they want to get that over as quick as possible because if they don't i think from what i've been talking i think verb was saying he's scared of like a domino effect like if one person goes to war he feels like a lot of other people are going to go to war so if we just cut this war off quickly it might delay a massive war i'm not really sure and right now this is really good because most of the factions on my side anyway we're all involved we're all talking and being friendly so you know we're being friendly which is great because obviously like, this, this series is weird, because when there's wars going on, like, if there any, if any, if a big war ever goes on, that means a lot of cool projects will cease to happen, and obviously, like, the, like, no one will be building good road networks, because we all want to make the world seem like a world, so no one, if there's a war going on, no one will be doing cool projects like building roads and bridges that are actually must needed, because it makes horses so much more valuable. Because they're all going to be at war, so they don't, want, they don't want to build transport stuff. So people people don't want that to happen just yet. So they want to try stop this war, and for some reason they're on my side. If, if it was me starting the war, 
I would have, I pro they probably wouldn't be on my side, but they know I want to stop the war, war as quick as possible. But anyway, right, let's smelt some stone, and then we're good to go, and then it's all about gathering up as many people as possible. Alright guys, so I just had a word with spooks and the verb. I've asked them to meet a spawn, I think they know what it's about, kind of. Um, I do want to get Jensen on board, but he's not here right now, so hopefully we can. So I'm going to go talk to them, I'm going to go ask them if they want to be involved, and they want to be under my command in a sense. And if they do, I'm going to ask them to get their men ready. And that when they're ready to go, we'll meet up at spawn again. But this time, we'll all be heading to the campsite. Because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to head to the campsite. And we're going to have to get it set up. And then we're just going to have to wait for Ace to come on come online. So we'll probably have to log off for a few hours. And But at least when we all log on, we're all together and ready to go. Because, guys, if you don't remember me and... Because, guys, if you're wondering why I'm waiting for Ace to be online, if you don't remember, we made a personal agreement between both of us um, that we both have to be online for, like, uh, to actually raid each other. So we have to wait for each other to be both online. So that's why you have to be ready and ready at a moment's notice. All right, Spooks. Okay, you're the only person that can make it right now. But hopefully, um, once we talk now, you could spread some news if you accept. So, but I'm pretty sure I've got this in the bag. So... Um, I think it's, did I haven't spoke to you since, um, actually, everything that went down. Ace has went to war with me. Obviously, yeah, you probably, you've heard that. Ace has went to war with me because of you. I don't know if you know that, though. Yeah. Uh... Okay, you heard that. Okay, good. Okay, right, because I knew everyone's not happy. I knew he's made enemies. I knew, I know specifically he's made enemies with you because, like, well, not, you, you haven't declared war, which I'm kind of surprised by both of you, but, um... Mm. But I, I know I know I've got you in the bag because he just raided you today as well again. So Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I have you in the bag. So what I'm asking is for you to help me end this war quickly by you as a leader under my command, so then I also get command of your faction as well. Okay. All right. If you accept that, we can move on. And you can join it. But like oh, the only reason, like this won't be a normal thing that'll happen during war. Maybe it will. But right now, this is the first war, and I know, for example, like, a lot of people aren't happy with the war. Well, one, you you want to end this war, and you want to see Ace go anyway because he's attacked you. But some people want to end the war because of they don't want a massive war to happen just yet because they know it'll be a domino effect, and loads of other factions will get involved. So if we don't, like, stop this one, like, quick, it could get bad. Because if we take out Ace, then Ace has to start up again. You know what I mean? That'll keep him quiet for a while. It yeah. should do anyway. Um, but anyway, so... I'm asking, will you join me and let me control your faction pretty much? I, I accept. <laughs> like, it doesn't mean I own you. It's just that you're under my control. So, for example, when we're raiding, because this is how the rules work. When we're raiding, all the stuff that you raid from Ace's base goes back to me. And obviously, I, if I can either give you a payment, I might not give you a payment. It, like, it depends on what leader. But, like, I, I will give you guys payments. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to keep everything. <laughs> So that there is profit involved for you, um, but you just follow my plans and stuff like that. And that's really it. But as since you're now under my control, can I ask you because you're more friendly with these people, and it, it'll be a bit weird for me because I haven't really got to talk to him just yet on the show. Can you try recruit Verb and Jenison? And uh. if you can, like just go talk to him, get in contact with them, just. I'm I'm sure I know Jensen doesn't want to see a war. I th I heard something about that. I'm hearing stuff, and I know I know Verb Verb doesn't want to either. I don't think anyone does. Either. Yeah, I know. So, but like they might not want to, but I don't know if they're gonna get involved enough. Now I can't meet everyone. It's just not practical. You your base is actually closer to some of them, so that would be good. Um, and uh, pretty much, just tell them if they want to join. Tell them to get their members ready as quick as possible, and we meet here. And tell them not to bring any horses or anything out, none of their members, because otherwise if we have horses, we're all going to get lost. And what I'll do, since I'm leading it, I will bring a horse so that you guys can easily follow me, because otherwise it'd just be tons of diamond people running about. Can yeah. you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Get your members ready as quick as possible. Talk to Verb, talk to DM him, Skype him or whatever, and um, get our sword. And we'll meet back here, because we need to head soon, because it's a, t it's a ticking time bomb. Ace could log on at any time, and if he logs on when we're getting prepped... He could come and attack me and the whole game plan could be ruined. Right, we're going to meet a spawn. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. It's depending on how many people Spoo's got and actually recruited uh, for this little war. But uh, we're going to meet at the campsite. We've heard Ace is at the cinema, so we might be at this place for a while and just chilling. So, yeah, dude. Okay, right. So the only reason why I haven't asked you guys to bring horses, and I wish I kind of did, or actually... See, I guess I could bring... Like, we're the ones who are committed, so who has a horse here? Like, do you guys, does anyone want a horse? Now, when you have a horse, you're committed. 
Like, as in, like, you can't F home, you can't bring loot. Okay, right. I'll, well, I'll stick to a horse. The only reason why I said bring a horse is so that, like, for myself, is so that when we, if, if the outcome is big, you guys can actually follow where I'm going and not just follow a random diamond person. <laughs> Alright, we'll go this way and we'll meet, we'll meet them at spawn and hopefully... We've actually got people and not just us. But then again, we look pretty strong right now. But it's more the fact of getting extra members in case um, Ace gets his bodyguard, which is Raven. What is that, Spooks? Oh, right, Spooks is here. And Raz is here. Okay, right. They're all here. Okay, right. And Sir Flume. Okay, right. Now, hopefully... <sighs> yo, because hopefully... Yo, this is epic. Hopefully now, Andy, Jensen's faction, don't alert. All right, all right, right. Let's get to this campsite as quick as possible before we actually get, like, found. Okay, so I think I know how to make my way there. The pressure's on because I'm leading so many people right now. So hopefully we get there without getting spotted. But like, how do we not get spotted? I don't know. We'll, f we'll hopefully not we'll get spotted. Yeah, all right. We're just making sure everyone's <laughs> following. It's going to take a while to get there because otherwise we're going to lose people really easily. But that's fine. But um, all right, let's do this. Let's, hopefully, let's hope that we all get there. <laughs> This ain't the best place to have a food break. No, like, we're literally right. going around the circle of his base right now. We are so close. <laughs> Lunch break. <laughs> Alright, we're Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We can't get spotted. We can't get spotted. This is it. This is the make or break. This, this is the make or break. Okay, we're going to start seeing their walls any second now. Yeah, yeah, stay so close. This is the make or break part. Okay, around, around, around. We should be. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, make a break. Yeah. Stay so close. Stay. If we get seen, like, we're. Like, our plan is. Our surprise is gone. Oh, I like it. Then. Wait, hold on. Let's let's campsite. Let's campsite Alpha. I don't know why. But... Okay, yeah, pretty much we are. We have to wait for. We have to wait for Ace to come online. Okay. This is where. This is where I'm going to have to um, ask. This is my chair. Okay, right. This is when I'm going to have to get everyone into a chat. So hopefully we can all cooperate and it won't be all loud, okay? So, yes, set up whatever you need to do. Keep it's quiet. Stay in this area way. because if they're out mining wood, we don't want to get spotted. So, that's why we want to stay low. That's why I kind of chose this, even though they can see our name tags, but still. All right, let me try to organize everyone. All right, guys. So, we actually managed to make it here in one piece. Uh, I don't know how. Watch out. The undead are coming. <laughs> oh, no. But we actually managed to make it here in one piece, pretty much. And I'm surprised none of us got lost. I thought that this would be such a bad idea. And did you guys see how close we were to actually their walls? That's why I needed you to stay so close. I saw okay. the claim, but I didn't see the walls. I, right. I, was, I was looking at the claim the whole time. Okay, right. One first things first, guys. We have to sit here for a while, right? So that means we can't let them know something in chat. Like, we can't let them know something is up in chat. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. so just act normal or whatever. Just act normal. That's pretty much all I can say. Right. The plan is, Verb and Max, do you have any knowledge with TNT? <laughs> No! <laughs> like, just to make any simple TNT cannon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we can make a simple TNT cannon. Okay, okay, right. You guys are in charge of that. Okay? Are you you sure guys. you want to put us in charge of that? <laughs> do you think you'll do... Okay, I'll probably put... Um... Can, can someone I'll... help us? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. <laughs> Fulham will probably be pretty good. So, I'll pro... Fulham will go with you, in a sense. Because Fulham will probably be pretty good at that. I don't know why I can just see that. Okay, so Fulham... Okay, can we get the horse off? Okay, so Fulham... Like, yeah, so that's your little mini squad, and then all of us, we're going to be going into Ace's base. But you guys are going to be going around left-hand side. I will be showing you where to go. We'll sneak over in a few minutes with invisibility pots, and I'll show you where you'll be setting up the cannon. It's a very, very easy place, Um, but that's pretty much it. You're going to be cannoning, and if you cannon from there, we might get into a proper little area as well, so it might be good. But we want to grieve the base as much as possible, so once we get into the base, guys... Um, we're gonna hopefully be raiding at nice at night, but once we get into the base, we're just gonna be just trying to grief it as much as possible, raid everything, no, it's I full know. on war. <laughs> but remember guys, you guys are all under my control, like as in spooks accepted it, verb you accepted it. So anything you raid goes back to our faction, but it doesn't mean I might not pay you. That's that's how it works. So otherwise then, you know, um you guys are technically at war then with Ace, but you're not, you're under my control because you guys agreed to be. Okay? 
But guys, that is pretty much the plan. Now we play the weighty game and wait for Ace. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh, I am nervous. I am so nervous. Because this I have a feeling this could still fail. I don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I don't like being a leader. It's too stressful. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.